Hi guys, today I want to show you how to model a tree trunk. So our final result would look like this. Um, we can smooth it out and you can see it looks uh, pretty good. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit out of this. And So in your window, in your uh, when you enter Blender, we're going to use a default cube. So you want to hit tab and hit S for scroll and hit Z so you can scroll upwards. Uh, just scroll as long as you want your tree to your trunk to be. So now we have this. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control R, and this is gonna give us a series of loop cuts that we can uh, give us more vertexes to play with. So you wanna just scroll your mouse till you have about four, just like that. And uh, let's get in closer here. Hit Z for wire mode and A to deselect. So now using the box tool, you want to select these uh, four vertices and hit G for grab and just uh, bend them out of shape. You don't want things to be, look perfectly symmetrical. So let's A to deselect, B for box tool, and we're just going to do this for all of these. G to move. Just like that. A, B, G. Uh, you can just bend them however you want, just like that. Not too far. So, shift mouse key A, B, and Z. I mean G. So now, when we back up and hit Z again, you can see we have our tree trunk. Now, to me, it looks uh. Mm, still too symmetrical, so let's just go back in here and grab this piece. So just play around with that. So uh, now what you want to do is go back, uh, hit Z, and uh, hit Control 7 to get your bottom perspective. So now what we want to do is we want to box these vertices down here and hit X and delete the face. That uh, way we can extend this out into our root system like you, you saw I had. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a loop cut down here. So let's uh, control R again. And let's do a couple loop cuts. Just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into wire mode, deselect, and box these bottom vertices. And I'm just going to scale them outwards just like that there we go and um, well, let's go back hit control Z to go back I'm just gonna do one loop cut see how that looks like and it'll, it'll give you the choice of positioning wherever you want uh, so now I'm just gonna do the same thing let's box these vertices and scale them outwards yep just like that you can do more, you can do less, uh, whatever your preference. So now I'll just hit Z again. So now we have the beginning of our tree. Trunk of our trunk. So we're going to do some more loop cuts so we can uh, mess around with it some more. Control R and just do a loop cut there. And Control R and a loop cut on this side. Just right click to get out of that uh, slide. So now we have this, that selected. Uh, we're going to do loop cuts along the bottom and just along the top right there. So control R again. Just loop cut on each side. And see what they look like down here. Just like that. Alright so now with each of these vertices you can now uh, begin to manipulate them and uh, shape them into your tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect and just with the uh, right click on any vertice and hit the grab tool and you can just move it around. We want to get this as asymmetrical as you can. So I'm just right clicking on the vertice, hitting G for grab and just bringing it in just like that. So what you, you just want to do this with every vertice. So that's what we'll do. 
Make sure especially to get these outside, these corner vert vertices, so that it doesn't look uh, symmetrical to begin with. And uh, if you mess up, you can just click, uh, there we go, control Z, and undo your last move. And these in the middle, you just want to pull up or down, uh, so they're not in a straight line. Same with these. So if you exit out of edit mode, you can see your tree is starting to take shape. Uh, it looks like, it looks very textured. And so let's hit back into edit mode and continue doing this. Uh, you just uh, do this until you get your desired shape and in my next tutorial I'll show you how to put on a pattern put a pattern on it and make it look like a trunk alright uh, thanks for watching comment if you have any questions and comment if you have any tips